Hi there, this is Kev Phillips aka Kevman 3D and in this video I want to just demonstrate a very cool terrain generation program called World Machine. Uh, if you want to get a copy of this, if you go to www.world-machine.com you'll find that under the downloads uh, page there is actually a really cool free edition that you can download. I recommend downloading this and having a go with it because it can make some really cool looking stuff. So what can it do? Well let's have a look when you start World Machine, you start on this node kind of structure, uh, what we call the device view. And World Machine works through plugging in these devices into each other. Uh, if you're familiar with the node based system, such as Hypershade and Maya, or the node based surfacing and Lightwave, or one of these other packages, then this shouldn't look too intimidating. For those who go, ooh, yuck, that's nodes, I hate that, looks complicated. I'm just going to run through a very quick example how you can generate a terrain using nodes and how easy it actually is. So I'm going to start by deleting everything here. I'm going to leave this one. This is the device that generates select like the 3D terrain. It's a height output generator. And I'm going to start by going up here. We've got all our little nodes or devices here. And I'm going to find, let's let's pick this one. It's a Voronoi. It's a, it's kind of fractal generator and I'll click it there and if I right click to turn off the selection I can double click on this and scale you see it produces these very interesting cellular patterns you know, all kinds of interesting funky artificial looking patterns that you can play with in here from pyramids to uh, just kind of a weird looking cellular one. If you're stuck for ideas, you know, oh, I don't know what setting should I use. A lot of these devices actually have a preset section. You say nifty shape, generates this really cool, like almost like small stone kind of pattern. You can also randomize these a bit. So let's use something like that go OK. And if I was just to click on that and connect it across to that by clicking and uh, connecting it here. I can then click this green button up here which builds my terrain. Now what I mean by building is it goes through and it processes all the nodes. And up here I can say, well let's have a look at what that looks like. I can click on this button here, 3D view. And this is what it's generated, which kind of looks exactly like that one. There we go. So let's go back to our device view. And that's kind of cool, but it doesn't look like a train. It looks like kind of random blocks stuck across the surface. So what I want to do is I want to modify this. So under natural, these are devices that will erode and decay and um, basically create terrain that looks like terrain, which has been battered by the elements. So if I plug that one into that one, and then I'll plug that one into that one, what I can do is I can now just quickly build that in my 3D view. You'll see that I now have these shapes, but they've got these little channels cut through them where fluid or rain is kind of washed down and it's kind of cut these channels into the actual shapes. Now, it doesn't look overly convincing yet, so let's go back to our device view. Let's double click on this, and this will bring up the settings for the fluvial erosion. Let's go to channel erosion. Let's say erosion base duration. The longer we make this, the more rock is kind of cut away. You can say how hard we want the rock. If we move it all the way up to the top, then it doesn't erode at all because the rock is too hard. If I move this down to about there, it'll basically cut a lot of the rock away because it's it's quite soft. You've also got sediment carry amount. And what this does is it says, well, all that stuff's washed down from the uh, actual rock is obviously going to be full of silt and so forth and you want to collect that if we drag that up it collects in all these kind of gaps in which kind of fills them up now I don't want to do that I'll have a little bit maybe that much okay if I'm not sure what to do I can click randomize a few times and it'll just kind of randomize the, the erosion effect though I can also go in here and go geological time enhancement if I go enable, what that does is imagine 
eroding over over years, hundreds of years, thousands of years. It basically extends the erosion over time. So if I go too far, it erodes almost nothing. So I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to go down, say about ooh, about there. And channel depth is how deep I want those channels to be cut. And I'll go OK. Now I can build this. And it's going to take a little bit of time because the erosion has all that extra time or geological time erosion to be uh, processed. Didn't take too long. If I click 3D, there is a much better, very alien-esque looking landscape. So that's World Machine. Uh, that's a very basic look at World Machine, but it is a very cool program. And I would recommend just going out and downloading the free edition and having a play.